amazing makeovers this week. But have you ever heard of a money makeover? Yes. Well, we're teaming up with Chime to learn how to get one. And here to share how you can get your finances to a beautiful place is our friend, money expert, and award-winning author, Melissa Leon. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Oh, thank you. This for me is such a important subject and I can't think of anyone better to discuss it with you. What is a money makeover, Melissa? Well, a money makeover is just a new approach or new strategy to refresh your finances. And I promise that a money makeover can drastically change the way that you feel about yourself and the look of your life. Okay, well, Melissa, you're gonna pull the studio audience using our flower polls um, and figure out how to approach uh, getting the best makeover and you're gonna share some tips based on the responses. Um, okay, first question to our audience. Which common problem area causes you more stress lines, having too much debt or not having enough retirement savings? So hold up the red flower for debt and the green flower for retirement savings. Oh, what do you think, Drew? Is that a good mix, maybe? Kind of seems like a very even Steven. Yeah. So what approach, if we do have a 50-50, okay. do you suggest for both? So everybody gets something out of well, this. Well, listen, both of those issues are big issues. I hear you. And according to the Federal Reserve, only 36% of Americans actually feel like they're ready for retirement when it comes to their retirement savings. That's a low number. And so I get that when you are far from your goals, you think, oh, I'm so far, I'm not even gonna try. But every little bit counts. Savings is a habit. You gotta get into saving, even if it's just, say, 15% of your income, um, or more depending on your age or your situation, and into various savings um, mechanisms like you know, a savings account or maybe your 401k plan. Just wanna make sure that you make that a habit. For everybody who said debt, Oh, I also understand debt is one of the most stressful things that we can deal with. In a long list of stressful events, getting into debt beyond means of repayment ranks number five. Five, that's more stressful than your spouse cheating on you, more stressful than uh, conflict with your boss. So one method to tackle that would be to list all of your debts and with their interest rates. And then while making the minimum payment on all of them, just pick one, maybe the highest interest rate or maybe the, the smallest debt, and then attack it ferociously, like throw whatever you can at it. And if you need to build credit, bringing down your credit balances can help your score improve over time. Also set a calendar reminder so that you are never late on a payment. Another option would be to check out Chime Secured Credit Builder Visa Credit Card. Not only are there no annual fees, no interest and no credit check to apply, you can use it on everyday purchases to help build credit, which can have a positive impact on your credit score with regular on-time payments. All you need is a Chime spending account and a $200 qualifying direct deposit, and you're ready to apply. Okay, here's the next question for our audience. Um, when it comes to your money, do you feel like you need a little financial touch-up or an all over head to toe transformation? Green flower for just a little touch-up and red flower for a total overhaul. Seems like a, a little bit more is in the green. But little mini makeovers, maybe Melissa, refresh. do you yes. mind answering of both course. questions? Just so again, everybody yes. here gets something. So, regardless of which makeover you're getting, the all over makeover or the mini refresh, you would start by, again, looking at your situation. Get extreme clarity on the income and the X, uh, the expenses, your expenses. And so you are downloading your bank statements, you're looking at the inflow and outflow of your money, and you're also getting a sense of what your money habits have been. You know, ask yourself, what were the last three unplanned purchases that I made, and why did I make them? Yeah. And so I just think it's important to check in with yourself to make sure that your spending is in line with your values and your, uh, your goals. Okay, can you give us like one tip that we could all start doing today that might be a money saving, planet saving, just something we weren't thinking to do this way. Write down your goals, but they have to be specific. And so when I'm overwhelmed, I like to write things down. And so if you just write down three, you know, 
short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals. These goals, like, I don't know, short-term is sticking to your budget for the holidays, long-term might be retirement, like decades out, and then break them up into mini bite-sized goals. So if you wanna save $1,000 to add to your emergency fund, that's automating a transfer of 40 bucks a week into a high-yield savings account. 40 bucks a week, save 40 bucks a week. I, I, I like that. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Melissa, so much. Oh my goodness, thank, thank you. Thank you so You're much so for welcome. making our lives better and more knowledgeable and less stressful, which does cause for a more beautiful life, a more beautiful feeling inside, and therefore a more relaxed, effortless outside. Um, thank you.